I can say we're chipping about five, four to five hours a day. Uh, sometimes it's constantly chipping, maybe an hour at a time. We have days we chip a uh, couple hours at a time, nonstop. I mean, just move set up to set up, let it run, and just constantly going. When we operate the chipper uh, to chip brush, we have to do it in a certain time uh, frame due to safety reasons, precautions, and uh, because he's working around the power lines and we don't want to touch the truck while he's in the air. When he's done with the trimming around the power lines, we uh, gather the brush and, and stage it in piles uh, closer to the chipper, and then we run the, the brush through the chipper. Chipping a lot of uh, oak trees, uh, pine trees, more than about eight inches diameter. A lot of debris has been wet lately, so, so far it's been working with the wet debris. We have one couple of chips we have, it gets clogged because of the wet debris, but that uh, seems to work with the wet debris. It's, it shoots it out pretty good without even getting clogged. Performance is very important. A um, couple of reasons, time factor, and we don't want any kind of injuries to our crew members. And if the operation doesn't cut efficiently, there's a, it, there's a clog and there could be wasting more time. We have to get inside the chipper to push it. And uh, I haven't had any issues when it comes to it. She sounds great. It, it purrs like a kitten. You know? um, it actually, when we start it up, it, uh, the idle goes up. Um, everything works good when you engage the drum. It seems to catch the drum really good. Um, no slipping. Really good engine. Uh, we've been here for three days now. We started on Monday, seven o'clock in the morning. We started trimming trees, and then one thing led to another, and we were taking down trees. And here it is Wednesday, and we have 13 trees on the ground. And uh, I think a lot of this is possible because of the loader we have, being able to move the wood from one place to another and from that place to the chipper or load it in our dump trailer to take to the dump. And without the uh, loader, we'd probably be paralyzed. We've run the loader 25 hours in the last three days. It's got more power than the other wheel loaders we have used in the, in the past. And they are uh, picking up abilities a lot better. The fuel consumption seems to be better on the new motor than it did on the old one. We used to have a problem with the old motor overheating. And since we've got the new motor, you know, the temperature you know, stays about 185. It doesn't overheat like the old one did. Uh, the most important part about a piece of equipment is the weight capacity it can pick up, you know, what it can do, how it performs. And we've seen to find that with the Cummins motor in it. Dad actually picked up about a 2,500 pound piece of wood about three months ago. It picked it right up off the ground. <laughs> Now I wouldn't change anything with uh, the motor. The performance, everything is up to par. Starting the machine, you just turn the key and it starts right up. Some of the improvements uh, was accessibility to the filters, um, accessibility to putting the oil in, putting the coolant in, uh, getting to certain uh, parts on the engine. Uh, the after treatment system for the wheel loader was integrated uh, really good uh, the way it's set up. We did the installation work here and fit in there really well. Uh, the interaction with the wheel loader for the customer has been really good. Uh, they always are willing to let us come out there and do whatever we have to do whether it's calibrate or check out a part. Um, uh, they're really extremely happy with it and they'd love to keep doing it if they could.